All right, so we're getting there. We have our controllers done. Well, our, at least our base controllers done, and then the other ones are created. Uh, we have our base model done, and in our shares model here, in our index function, we're selecting all from shares, and that's being displayed here in an array. All right, what we want to do now is focus on views. Okay, so you can see right here that it's trying to load views slash main.php. All right, so let's go ahead and create that. Inside the views folder, we'll say new file, and we're going to save as main.php. Okay, so let's say this is main. And now you can see that it's loading the main template. Okay, this is where all of our HTML tags will go. So we can just say HTML and shareboard. Okay, so if we save that, now you can see that the title up here has changed to shareboard. What we need to do now is create our views. Okay, so in our views folder, we're going to create another folder and let's call this home. Okay, we're going to create another folder called shares and another one called users. Okay, inside home, we're just going to have an index file. All right, so we'll say new file and save it as index.php. In shares, we're going to need uh, an index. And we're also going to need a view for our ad form. Okay, so when we want to add a share. So let's say new file. And we'll save that as add.php. Okay, and then inside users, we're going to need login.php and also register. Okay, so now we have the files created. Let's go to our home index.php and we'll say this is index. All right, now if I go and reload, we don't see that, okay? So we need to include the main view area inside of our template. And we can put this wherever we want. All right, but what we should be able to do is say PHP require and then just pass in view. Okay, so we'll go like that. All right, and then we'll go to our home index view. And let's just say this is home slash index all right we'll go to shares index say this is shares index all right and then let's go to just our root url and we get home index if we go to slash shares we get our shares index okay so we know that we're loading the correct views now what i want to do is in our main php this is the main layout i want to add some bootstrap code okay so let's go to getbootstrap.com and let's download bootstrap all right and all we're going to need out of here is the css file okay so what i'm going to do is just go to our root and in assets css we're going to bring over bootstrap.css all right now Let's go here and we're going to include that up here. Let's say link style sheet. And we'll say, uh, let's say assets slash CSS slash bootstrap.css. All right, we also want to include our style.css that we created. All right. Okay, you can see that the text changed, so we know that Bootstrap is now included. Now what I want to do is go to get Bootstrap and let's go to examples and this right here, the starter template. We're going to look at the source code and we're going to grab the nav bar actually let's grab this whole thing 
Okay, and then let's, I'm just going to replace this for now. All right, so there's our nav bar. Let's change the project name to Shareboard. Okay. So we're going to have a home link here. I'm going to get rid of the active class. And let's see, home is going to go to our root URL. Remember, we set that in the config. So root URL, oops, we need to echo that. Oops. Okay, and let's copy that. And we're going to have one more link that's going to go to the shares page. Okay, so this is going to, we're just going to add on to this shares. Okay, now up here in this class, this is something I usually do, remove the navbar fixed top, and then this navbar inverse, I'm going to turn to navbar default, which will make it lighter. All right, and then we're going to want to get rid of this, and I'm going to put in a div class row. That's just going to give it some padding. And then what we can do is add back the require view. All right, so let's take a look at that. And there we go. So now we have our nav bar, we have our index. Okay, so that's, oh, we need the slash. So in our config where we have our URL here, let's put a slash like that. Okay, so now if we reload and click on shares, we get this is the shares index. Okay, so we can switch back and forth. So the home page, all I want it to be is basically just um, just some text telling us welcome and a button that is going to take us to the shares. All right, uh, let's go ahead and close these up. Actually, you know what? There's, there's a couple other links we need for a login and register. So I'm going to copy this UL right here and then paste it here. And we're just going to add in a class called uh, navbar right. All right, and then this is going to be login register. This will go to uh, users slash login. This will go to users slash register. All right, and we'll close that for now. And then let's open up index uh, home index view. Okay, we're just going to add in some quick HTML here. Oops. Let's say class equals text center. Okay, and then we'll do an H1. Okay, and then we'll put in a paragraph. Let's give it a class of lead. Oops. All right, and then we'll just put in some text. Share it with our community, and then we'll say, look at other shares as well. I don't know, just anything. It doesn't really matter. All right, and then under that, we want a, a link that's formatted as a button. So we'll give it a whoops. We'll give it a class of BTN and BTN primary, and also text center. All right, and then href. It's going to go to our root path PHP echo root path, and then shares. And we'll just say share now. All right, so let's see how that looks. 
All right, so that looks pretty good. We have a button. Okay, that's just going to localhost shares. Okay, so it's not seeing this. All right, so you know what I'm going to do is go back to config. It's just a little weird because we have a uh, virtual host. So let's put this localhost slash shares. So I'm just going to add to my root path here, uh, php.dev slash. Okay, and then if we click that, it takes us to shares. All right, so the home page is done. We don't need anything else here. All right, so on the shares index page, let's do that next. Okay, so shares index. And let's put a div. And then inside there, I want to have a button to add shares. Okay, well, it'll be a link formatted as a button. So we'll say BTN success, that'll make it green. And let's also give it a custom class of BTN share. Okay, and that will, that's going to go to our root path. So PHP echo root path, and then shares slash add. All right, and we'll just have the text say share something. Okay, now what we're going to want to do is remember we can we fetching oops, we're fetching the data from the database through the share model here. Okay, so we're going to have access to um, our view model. Okay, so in shares index, what we'll do is. Uh, let's see, we're going to do a for each loop. Okay, so we're going to say PHP for each. Okay, now remember we have access to view model, so we're going to put that in here. So view model as in, let's say, item. Okay, so now let's say div class. And we'll give it a class of well, which will give it a gray background. All right, and then let's put in H3. And hopefully this works. We can say PHP echo item, which is an associative array. And then we want to access the title field. All right, so let's go ahead and check that out. And there we go. So we're we're getting the titles from the database. Uh, let's see for this button here. Let me actually I'm going to go to my um, style CSS. Okay, and we'll just say button share, and I'm going to give that a margin bottom of 20 pixels. All right, so now we just want to continue to put in the body here and the link. So under H3, let's put in the date in a small tag. Okay, so uh, that's create date, I think. So we'll say PHP echo create date. Okay, and then we'll put in an HR and then a paragraph, and this is where we'll put the body. All right, then let's do a line break, and then what we'll do is have a button or a link that goes to whatever the link is. So PHP, actually, no, we don't want to do that yet. We want an A tag. We'll give it a class of BTN and BTN default. Okay, we'll give it an href. That's going to be PHP echo item link. Okay. 
Okay, and let's make this open in a new window. So we're going to say target equals underscore blank. And let's see, what do I want this to say? We'll just say go to website. All right, so let's save that. Okay, so it's not that they're not the prettiest things in the world, but it's getting the data. So if I click go to website, it opens up Eduonix in a new tab. All right, so that's what we want. All right, so in the next video, what we'll do is we'll create our ad form. Okay, this is going to go to shares ad, but you can see the method doesn't exist yet. All right, so in the next video, that's what we'll do.